Hey, what's up guys, I'm Brian Altano. Now today we are offering you the greatest debate in first person shooter history. It is what is the best military based first person shooter of all time. We've narrowed it down to two. We've got Call of Duty, and we've got Counter-Strike. On my left we have my man Sean Finnegan battling for Counter-Strike. Right over here we got Bobby Amos battling for Call of Duty. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock for each of them to give us a personal debate war story about why their game is the best. After that we're gonna open it up to just have them get real gross and nasty and beat the hell out of each other in a 90 second free for all. But keep it kind of clean. We got 30 seconds on the clock, starting with you, Sean. So I've been playing Counter-Strike for a really long time, 16 years in fact, and during that time, it hasn't changed a bit. It is the great white shark of first person shooters. When it comes to competitive play, no game does it better. Counter-Strike does aim, it does decision making, it does positioning, and it does pure skill better than any shooter out there. When it comes to Call of Duty, you got randomness or imbalanced maps or perks. So if you're like me and you want to play a shooter that's all about whether or not you're just better than people, and Counter-Strike is the clear choice. Perfect, you are cut off. That was great, you did that in exactly 30 seconds. Bobby, let's see if you can do the same. You got 30 seconds, go. First, you have your pure competitive gameplay with hardcore. You can play Search and Destroy, TDM, Domination, or if you just want to play the regular core game modes, you can have TDM and you can rack up your kill streaks and, and drop nukes. I'm a lone wolf. I like to go in, if I'm playing with some random guys, I can carry the team and feel like I'm the best. Or if you're going to play competitively, you have esports, you can get in tournaments, win money, do what you want to do. But I just think it's just so much variety there that you can do whatever it is you want to do. And I think that's what makes it a better military shooter. All right, now I'm putting 90 seconds on the clock. I want both of you to debate at the same time. Obviously, give each other a little bit of space. I know you guys both play violent, angry first-person shooters, and you're used to fighting each other. But keep it a little bit clean. 90 seconds. Counter-Strike versus Call of Duty. Go! So you again. want simplicity, you can go in, you can play search and destroy hard. Forward. Right out the gate! <laughs> <laughs> you can go in, you can have your simplicity with that. Shots aren't, you ain't putting a whole clip into people, you can just take them out, and there's your hardcore, simple, pure gameplay. That's not what Counter-Strike is either. Counter-Strike is one bullet to the head, maybe two if they have a helmet, or four body shots with any gun, no matter the gun. Or if it's an op, it's one shot basically any time. There is, it's all about if you get a split second of an advantage on someone, they're basically dead if you're worth your salt at all. Like, in order to disrupt gameplay like that, you have to throw flashes, you have to throw smokes, block sight lines, watch your teammates back. That's pure strategy. It's not you about dropping. You have that in Call of Duty. You have flash oh, bangs. Your you have helicopter EMP. can do it for you, though. Uh, you got yeah. some, I mean, who helicopters, you, yes. you, you call in UAVs so you can get you can get support to know where people are at. You have all that military stuff that's there. You just you take advantage of it, and it just goes over the top for you. I mean, who does not want to call in a nuke and let the other team know that they are not better than them? I don't. Compelling argument. I'd rather shoot someone in the face with a deagle. I, I can do that. I can do that too. I can still. I can take out people without those kill streaks, and it's still the same feeling. You can play the game. If you they're want, good but enough to get to it, it then they way. can use it. If they're good enough to get 25 gun kills, they can get that new. Totally. And in the game, that's a great feeling. I think getting 25 kills and just destroying the map is better than just getting four kills with a deagle. I know, man. That's it. You shut <laughs> off. I'm sorry, I hope you got everything you needed to say in there, you too. This is that was good, that was, was good about argument. that argument. I think, I think the reality is is that uh, in all these games that are about killing people and hurting people, uh, we did good here today, no one got killed. And that's more important than, than anything in the world. Video games are about fun. Thank you, Sean, thank you, Bobby, I'm Brian Altano. Let us know what you think the greatest first person shooter of all time is. And for all things video games, keep watching IGN.